The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. Always a pleasure to be kicking it down a notch for all you beautiful people around the globe. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, joining the family. It really does help out a lot. And if you, you know, at the end of the video, maybe want to give it a like or a comment that is helpful as well. It really does help get the video out there so YouTube's algorithm knows that it is worthy of a little bit of love and attention. So if y'all could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. All right, with that being said, we got a reaction request here from Jazzy J. Jazzy J is back for another reaction request. And this one is quite interesting because this one features some heavy hitters, dude, like all rolled up into one. Um, this is uh, Brian May, John Farnham, Mitch Tambell, and Olivia Newton-John, You're the Voice, Firefight Australia from February 29th, 2020. So this is pretty new. I'm guessing because it's Firefight Australia um, with all the fires that were going on around that period of time, they were really bad and um, like really, really bad. And it's just crazy madness um, that all this was going down and then right off the trails of that you had the big like corona thing just happening like it's just madness dude like so it's been a it's been a crazy rough time man for a lot of people um so seeing that john farnham brian may olivia newton john and you know these guys got together to do again what i love to see you know using your influence using your 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 fan base and your you know your success your celebrity to you know create a positive change in people's lives to impact people's lives in a good way to you know rally people together in this time that was just really a huge crisis that was going on is really cool man that is a cool thing to see and i really love that i really love that so i can't wait to check this song out because John Farnham, you guys already know, he's got a freaking amazing, amazing voice. Brian May, he's got an amazing freaking voice and dope guitar skills. You know, Olivia Newton-John, she's like an icon legend in her own right. Um, this should be interesting. So without further ado, let's check this out from me, for Jazzy J, and all of you, we rolling. Let's get it. That man. Oh, that, I was like, hey, that don't look like Brian May. Wow, so that's this year, Brian May. I mean, uh, John Farnham and everyone from this year. This is Mitch Tambor, folks. That's Mitch Tambor, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, is that Miss Chandler? <laughs> John Farnham still got it.
I was like, when are they going to fix his freaking mic volume? Like, seriously, like, unbelievable. That is unacceptable for his volume to have been messed up like that. Like, they do how many sound checks for these things before shows? I know as an artist myself, we go through rehearsals, there's sound checks, there's like everything is already set up and ready to go. And then the show starts and his volume is that low? Like, that's madness to me. I don't, I just, unbelievable, unacceptable, man. Whoever was on sound that day, freaking dude, get your head in the game. <laughs> I mean, sometimes these things happen, you know, it, it's it's the craziest thing. Accidents do happen. Flukes do happen. Someone could have accidentally bumped the the thing. Sometimes they didn't tape it off to make sure that didn't happen. Um, sometimes that happens. Or, phew, I don't know. Sometimes they the show starts and then everything seems much louder. And the vocalist who is singing, maybe he was singing louder in the show and then i mean like in rehearsals then he is now maybe that's due to an issue with his you know his head earpiece you know maybe he he he's coming in hotter than he was before and so now he's thinking oh i better sing softer because in my ear it sounds like i'm singing a lot louder but in reality he's not you know it could have been a million things but anyways let's go this is a dope performance regardless but yeah just it frustrates me because i as I've had that happen, man. I've been performing in my book. I'm like, I'm like trying to get attention of the dude back there. I'm like, you know, <laughs> it's even worse when your monitors aren't working either, when you can't hear yourself properly. Oh my gosh, that is so horrible. Especially when you're in a venue where you need to hear yourself clearly here or else you end up sounding like you're off. And like, you know, like, I mean, off like timing wise, even because you know, the echo or things might be thrown. You know, it's just, it's so many things, man. But anyways, let's appreciate this for what it is. Let's go. They fixed it now. They fixed it. I know, it still feels they could have tweaked it a bit more. Maybe it's just how it's coming across here, but it just still feels a bit a bit soft. It feels like it could have been a tidbit louder still. Wow, look at that. Oh, they got bagpipes too? Wow. <laughs> They're just having a good old time. Oh, that's Olivia Newton John there. And all the firefighters. Oh, that's dope. This is so cool because, like, you know, there's so many times where firefighters, policemen, nurses, doctors, you know, all these people who are always the ones who are on the front line protecting human life, helping those in need, you know, saving lives every single day. And, and they never get the proper amount of gratitude and thanks. They're never in the limelight. They're never on a stage, you know, receiving love, you know, like they should be. Um, it's good to see this type of situation where, 
you know, people front and center get to see some of the faces who are out there, who have freaking out there putting their own lives at risk to to keep you and yours truly safe. Like, that is such a beautiful thing. And I, I freaking love also seeing the greats, you know, like seeing John Farnham and and seeing uh, Bri Bri, you know, together on stage, you know, just they're two huge icons, you know, like two huge, 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 huge artists sharing the stage together, sharing laughs together, you know, it's such a cool thing to see, man. Uh, I like this performance. I mean, this is really awesome. And this song here, for you guys who don't know, this is an iconic um, John Farnham song. I think it's probably one of his biggest songs ever, um, if not the biggest, but definitely like it's a huge song, dude. So, so really powerful stuff here. Really powerful stuff. And it was for a good cause, as you guys know, which makes it even that much sweeter, man. So I love it. Let's, let's go ahead and let them end it for us. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's oh wow. Oh, this on the cream. Ah. Okay. This is on the Queen official Queen channel. That was surprising. I, I didn't expect that to be on the Queen channel. Oh wow, that's cool. That's awesome, dude. That is freaking awesome. Wow, dude, guys, what do you guys think about that, man? I mean, obviously, you know, it's it, you can't can't expect there to be any possibility that it wasn't going to be good when you've got such greats attached to this performance. So you knew it was going to be a freaking winner. It was great seeing um, John Farnham still freaking just got it, man. He just freaking just out there doing his thing, man, like he does. He, he just flawless, dude. Flawless. Flawless. <laughs> like, that's just, that's just freaking awesome, dude. Like, doesn't miss a beat. Um, Bri Bri, man, freaking, you know Bri Bri is going to be out there just freaking banging and clanging, doing his thing, man. And freaking just the other dude, I don't know who, I don't know, I, I, what was his name, um, I forgot what, the, what his name was, but, uh, freaking awesome. Uh, Mitch Tambo, Alan McKenzie, okay, that's another one, so I don't know who's, um, which one was Alan McKenzie, Mitch Tambo, I'm assuming Mitch Tambo... Or Alan McKenzie, one of those dudes were the dude on the didgeridoo, I think. And then um, the other dude is the other guy who was singing who his mic volume was completely effed up at the start of the freaking performance. Completely, completely just not coming through. For whatever reason, I don't know. Could have been, you know, these things happen. You accept them. When you perform live, you always got to expect the unexpected that things can go wrong. So... Um, this is cool, dude. What did someone? I'm just gonna read the first comment because it's at the top here. And someone wrote, What I found the best about this entire song was that Brian was only there to play. It shows his character that he was there to play with Farnsey and Co., and that he didn't want the spotlight focused on him, especially when the fries, the fire, the fires, oh, the fires came on. Brian is a worldly treasure and must be kept for all people to have a high standard of what it is to be a good, humble man. You know, that's that's cool, man. And that is something, you know, really realistic about Bri Bri. You know, like, I always felt that, you know, and you gotta be. I think you, you when you're in a group like Queen, when you come from that type of group where you have someone 
as dynamic and talented as Freddie. You've got Roger. You've got, you know, so you've already got, you're surrounded by these talented people who have great voices in their own right. And then there's you who also can hold your own, who can sing, who can write, who can do all these things. And you're like, no, look, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay in my lane. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? And not try to be like, you know what? I need y'all to pay attention to me because I'm freaking awesome and great. You know, like that's, that's humbleness. You know, I always figure that you have, you'd have to be a pretty humble person and pretty, patient and be like no nah, look I'm good just being here like I don't need to be there let let Freddie be there you know in this case let John be there I got it I'm I'm good with me I'm I'm comfortable in my own skin I know my ability my talents I'm not insecure with that I'm happy just being here to be part of the process and contribute in my own special way whatever use me how you need me no matter how small big just I'm I'm good with whatever I'm here you know, I got you guys back. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm down with it. I love that, dude. It's such a beautiful, cool thing, dude. Oh my gosh. Enjoyed this. Firefight Australia. Really awesome. Really enjoyed it. Um, and it was for a good cause, which makes it that much sweeter. Thanks, Jazzy J, for sharing this with us. Really awesome request. And yeah, I really enjoyed this. Really good stuff. So. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this here. Thank you all for rocking and rolling with me as always. Remember, let me to the fullest and keep it off tap. We're out.